Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hi I'm Madeline and I am so excited that you are here today. Today I am super excited to be showing you part two of my makeup collection. If you have not checked out part one, I am going to link it down below. Go ahead and check that out. In part one, I showed you all of my eyeshadow, palettes, singles, quads, all that jazz. All of my eyeshadow was shown in part one and today I am going to be showing you my primers, foundations, concealers, powders, bronzer, blush, highlight, setting spray. Without further ado, let's jump on into the video. Majority of those products are in a drawer down here. I'm going to try to show you guys. That little drawer right there. First, we are going to do the primers I have in my drawer. The first one is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Mine is in the shade Sheer. This is her. She's very dirty. Um, the inside just looks like this. It's super cheap and it works really well. The next primer is the Stila Skin Perfecting Primer. Mine's in the shade Sunkissed. I bought this at TJ Maxx. I didn't realize this primer came in shades, so this is obviously not for my skin color. But I've been able to use it because um, I tan in the tanning bed and my face is never as dark as my body. So I will put this on under my foundation and it kind of just makes me match a little bit better. So I still do get to use this, but if I were to repurchase it, I would definitely look at the shades. This is my beauty blender. I don't know if you guys care. It's a Real Techniques. One of the orange, pink, and purple tie-dye ones. I just used it, so that's why it's dirty. And then I also have these two, but I'm literally throwing them away right now because they are really nasty. Well, I have two different types of foundations. Um, the first one is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I have one in the shade 120 and 220. Oh, and I have a third one, 125. I was about to say, I thought I had a different shade. This is what it looks like. So the next one I have is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I have 320 and 280. This is my all-time favorite foundation. I love this foundation so, so much. I am a very oily person, so it is really hard for me to find foundation and stuff that doesn't make me greasy like an hour later and this one is the bomb. My other favorite is the Estee Lauder Double Wear but I do not have that right now and it is very expensive to keep up with when you run out of. My two concealers, this is the NYX HD concealer. I have the shade 03 and then my everyday is the Tarte Shape Tape, the OG. Everyone knows about this concealer and I am in 27B light to medium beige. So I'm gonna go through these little palette guys that I have. This one is the JCAT Beauty Symphony Face Obsession Highlight Contour and Bronzer Palette. Um, this palette is kind of nasty. I've used it a lot, but it just looks like this. Has two powders up top, two bronzers, and then two highlighters. I do like this palette a lot. I haven't used it very much lately. I kind of forgot about it until this video. This next one is the Too Faced no filter selfie powders. I have not used these very much. I've only really used the bronzer. I need to figure out how to use these because I know these are useful, but I like just can't figure really how to use them. And then I have this Morphe, I believe, blush palette. Yep, this is a blush palette. I really like this one. If you can't tell, it is really dirty. This is the Morphe 9B is what this palette is called. So my next little container has my bronzers and some powders in here. This first one sits on my desk actually and it is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I use this every day and if I leave it in my drawer then a bunch of it gets up top and it just gets so messy to use and it's just unnecessary and annoying. So it sits up here on my desk. The next powder I have is the Too Faced Do You Powder. This is supposed to be a translucent powder but it is very, it's like tan and has glitter in it so you could almost use it as like loose a loose powder bronzer which I don't believe is really a thing. I'm trying to show it to you guys without spilling a bunch of it. I don't know if you can tell but it's dark and has sparkles in it. Maybe this just isn't meant for my skin color and it's embarrassing that I bought it but I don't know why anyone would want a translucent powder with glitter in it so I don't know, I kind of regret buying this, but it was a TJ Maxx, so it wasn't that expensive. This next powder I love, it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. One thing I do have to say about this is that it gives you a lot of flashback if you take pictures with flash. 
I don't really use like my back flash that often so I mean this doesn't affect me that much. The last powder is this Bare Minerals. It just looks like this. I got this in my Ipsy and I do really like it. Now we are on to my bronzer collection. I love bronzers. This first one I've had forever it is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. As you can see... I've used this a lot. I am almost out of it. I absolutely love this bronzer. This next one I've also had forever and it is the Bahama Mama bronzer. I feel like I just own so many like OGs when it comes to this. This next one is the Kylie Press bronzing powder in tequila tan. I did just get this one for Christmas. I've used it a lot. I really love it. Um, if I were to repurchase this, I would get a darker color because this just doesn't show up as dark as I would like it. Kylie's packaging is absolutely to die for. This next one I love is Sugar. It is a bronzer in the shade 02 Woody Wonder. This one is really dirty because I use it a lot. This is one of the only bronzers I've gotten in an Ipsy that hasn't been a high-end one that I've loved. And then this one I actually just bought the other day because I had an Ulta gift card. I got the Mini Kula Bronzer by Benefit. And I don't know why I was so late to this trend because I've used it like three times and I love it. This next little container is my blushes and highlighters. I do have a lot of these. I'm going to go through my blushes first. This first one is one that like would go in a Z palette or whatever. I don't have any information on what the brand is, but I got this in an Ipsy. It's just a hot pink blush, super pretty. This next one is also from the brand Sugar, like that bronzer. This is 01 Peach Peak. I love this blush. It's a super natural looking pink, which I really love. Next, I have a Kylie blush. This is in the shade Close to Perfect. I got this for Christmas and I've already used it so much. I absolutely love this blush. So next, I'm going to show you my MAC blushes. This one is in the shade Fuji, and it is just a light pink, pretty blush. And then this is, the shade wore off of the back of this one. This is one of my favorites. So I don't know what shade it is. I'm really sorry. This looks like this. And then I have my Tarte blushes. This is in the shade Kisses. I got this as an in an Ipsy Spots Why This one is so tiny. It's like a little sample size. It does have a little bit of glitter in it. I don't know if the camera can pick up that this one is shimmery. This one is my favorite and I can't find it. I can't find this shade. So the shade Quirky. I'm almost out of this one and it is one of my all-time favorites. It's almost out and this is such a beautiful shade and it's so pigmented, so pretty, and I'm so sad that I'm almost out of it. And then this is a big Tarte blush, another Amazonian clay one, and the shade Blissful. This was me trying to color match to Quirky because I wanted it. This one, I don't know if I just need to use it more, but I feel like it, like has a filter on top of it and like the color's just not coming out so that's why it's gonna look really weird. As you can see there's like it's not pink here and then it's like a weird color here. I don't know what happened to this blush. If anyone has had this happen to them um let me know how you fix it because I would love to know. So now we are gonna move on to highlighters. I'm gonna do my liquid ones first because I only have two. This is Becca I believe Champagne Pop. I don't use this one very often. I don't use liquid highlighters very much. But, I mean, there's not much to see. This is just a bottle. You can't really see the product. And this one is the Beauty Crop Glow Milk. I think you can also use this one on your body and stuff. The next highlighter I'm going to show you is my Kylie one. This is in the shade Queen Drip. So, so beautiful. Such a beautiful color. I love Kylie's, um, how all of her powders and stuff have that drip on them. This next one I got an Ipsy. This is an Ofra Madison Miller highlighter in the, in the shade C Shimmer. I always struggle to say that. Such a beautiful highlighter. Next one is the OG Becca Champagne Pop. This is my second one because I shattered my first one and I was very heartbroken. This is her. Such a beautiful highlighter. An OG. Everyone knows about it. Everyone loves it. There she is. This is a Luna highlighter in the shade, I never know how to say this, Cal Calypso, I don't know, C-A-L-Y-P-S-O. But I got this one in an Ipsy like when I first started getting Ipsy and I was obsessed with it. 
It's a super beautiful, cool-toned highlight. Next one is an IBY highlighter. I don't know what the shade of this one is. A champagne-y colored highlighter, super beautiful. This is a Winky Lux highlighter. I don't know what the shade is, it doesn't say. I am obsessed with this highlighter, you guys. It looks white in the packaging, but when you apply it, it has like a pink glitter to it. So freaking beautiful, you guys. And then this last highlighter is the Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Balm Cosmetics. This one is so pretty. I love to use this as like an inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight. This one is a blush and a highlight. It is by the brand Ciate London, I believe is how you say it. I don't know, but it is a blush and a highlight in one, and I'm obsessed with this product. When I first got it, I used it for like a month straight and nothing else, but so beautiful. I almost completely forgot that I have two highlighting palettes. This first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. It is the Nicole Guerrero. I don't know how to say her name. And I'm having the same problem with this that I am the um, Tarte blush that I bought. I feel like this has like a filter over it. And I like can't get the product to work. And I know so many people rave about this palette. So I know it's amazing. But I just can't get the colors to work. You guys see what I mean? Like you can really see it on this blue one. Like there's a filter of something over it. I don't know if I just need to like scrape it or what. Because I really want to use these highlighters. But I don't know. Then I have this Anastasia Glow Kit. This is the Moon Child one. And I love this one. I don't have... The same issue as I do with this one, so I don't know what it is. But this one just has a bunch of cool toned highlighters, and as you saw from my collection, I don't own a lot of these. So, this palette comes in handy a lot. Lastly, I'm going to show you my two setting sprays. I usually have a Morphe one, but I just ran out of it. So, this one's almost empty too. I do need to rebuy this, but it is just so expensive. And then what I've been using lately is this e.l.f. setting spray, and I really like it so far. It gets the job done. I think that is all that I had for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you liked it. Be sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you do not miss an upload from me. I'll see you guys in part three.